Hey guys, what's up? Evan from Stark Music Musician, and today I want to share with you getting started with Reason 10.2's new workflow changes. Now, they're all really self-explanatory, uh, easy to use, and awesome, but just having used uh, previous versions of Reason for so long, I feel like I have to intentionally force myself to use these new wonderful shortcuts techniques, streamlined um, abilities. And so this video is sort of going to give you an insight into some of the great new tricks, tools, and tips in Reason 10.2. Um, I'm just going to make a hip hop beat on the spot. It's probably not going to be the best thing I've ever made. Um, I would be willing to bet. But really what I'm trying to do is show you how these new tips work. All right, so let's get started. We've just got a little beat I programmed in here got a Kong and a drum sequencer. All right, so now we'll use add device and we'll add a piano because why not? Um, and you could have always done this in the past by right clicking, but it's certainly easier to do it just by clicking on the icon. Um, so let's see this piano. So, oh, I apologize. I have uh, my, I was mixing, so I've got my latency up. Um, all right. So let's get the beat playing. Maybe we'll do it for something a little dark. No, that's. Yeah, that's what we're gonna go. All right, so I'll go here, turn on. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because I wanna show you, I wanna show you all the techniques. So um, we'll hit, we got the pre on. Okay, and we'll just make this a four bar loop just because I'm trying to show techniques and not, no, come on now. Uh, set loop to selection. Okay, now we'll just go here. We'll fix everything to make it select all. We can hit go here and do side by side abut. It'll force legato, so it'll be all there. And then let's quantize to one eighth and cool. All right, so. That's actually all right. So that's pretty good, but I, I don't. I want to change the piano sound. So one of the new features is you can double click on an icon here, and we've got, and it takes you to the exact rack channel, which is huge. Um, why don't we try um, early '90s house piano? Uh, Old lofa. Let's go like that. Perfect. All right, let's go back to the mixer. And now we're going to start doing some multi track um, editing. So the first thing I'm going to do is come here. I'm going to create an instrument and I want an 808. So actually, um, what I'm going to do is go to Recent Sounds and just do 808. Oh, you won't be able to hear an 808 bass, actually, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I'll just do massive. What I found is that this, the low frequencies of the 808s just don't really translate that good in these YouTube videos. Um, so now we can double click on the massive, go to a bass. Uh, Urban Arsenal 2 has some good ones. Um, Okay, and let's go with, um, I think, just basses. Uh, 
that's not quite what I'm feeling here. Uh, let's go to Urban Arsenal 1, and Jazz is a good one. So now let's go back to the sequencer, and let's draw in a space here. And then I uh, hold down Alt to get the um, pencil tool. And then let's also, be, as we're about to do this, switch the bar from bar to grid. And what this means is however zoomed in I am, it automatically sets the snap position to that. So if I'm zoomed out oops, um, far, it's a bar. And if I, as I zoom in, it becomes smaller and smaller. And this is a super helpful time saver. You just have to be sure to turn it on. Um, a lot of the t time, especially if you go into your old songs, it's not going to be on by default. So remember to put that on. OK, so now that I've selected both of these areas, we can go over here, um, please go away, to um, edit mode. And then we go multi lanes. And so oops, we turn multi lanes on. Here is the piano part and here is the bass, you notice that there's nothing on the bass part, but this is really helpful because what I can do is I can see the exact chord progression, so I could play it. Oh. Uh, we're zoomed. It didn't go grid automatically here. Um, so like, what I can do is I can draw it in in the exact spot, same spot. I could also copy and paste if I wanted to. Um, And then what we can do is we can select all of these. This isn't a new tool, but this is one I just learned. If you hit something, if you select something and then hit Control-D, it duplicates it right next to it. Um, so, um, And then I'm going to use another one of my favorite copy and paste tips, which is Control-Shift and drag. And so now we'll have this. these up we are not creating the best music on earth here um, we are just trying to show you some of the new features so then let's say um, what I want to do it will create another instrument and this time we'll just create a um, I don't know, let's create a Europa, sure. And we can even go to just a, well, this is going to be the easiest way to do it. Um, for, these, for our purposes. Um, reason sounds. All right. Um, uh, factory sounds. Europa. Um, and we'll go for melody. You can't go wrong with a bastard, can you? Oh yeah, that's gonna sound so good. Not nah. um, fact lead Canadian broadcasting, sure. That could go. That could do it. So now what I'm gonna do? Uh, well, first I'm gonna draw in a lane, and then stay tight because there's gonna be a couple more reason uh, ten point two tips coming on. So I select these, go to edit mode, and we're in multi lane edit. So now you can see to switch between them. It's this active arrow here, right? So this is the piano selected. This is the bass selected. And now I'm on the third one. And so let's say what I want to do is sort of just follow the piano shapes or the chord shapes, uh, but on the melody side. So and then this here is a, what is, that's a B, OK. Um, so let's see what that sounds like. Uh, and I just want to show you how much of a time saver this is, just being able to see all of this. And probably cut this here instead of overlapping. I don't know if it's Portamano. I'd like 
Uh, and this song is in no way hip hop. No, it's just stopped being hip hop. Whatever, that'll happen. Happen sometimes. I was just messing with the mod wheel for no reason other than I'm doing it. Okay, so that's another great new trick in Reason 10, uh, point two. Now I wanna show you something really cool. Um, so we've got the drum here, right? And what I like to do is I like to route my individual drum hits to separate channels. Uh, and in the past to do that, what I would have to do was create a mix channel and then drag it well, what you would do is first you would blow it up and then you'd assign the kick to output three and four. And now it's gonna be coming out of this channel here. Real pain in the butt to do all of that. Oh, come on. All right, I should be better than that. Um, but now what you can do is you can click, right click on any audio output and there is now a new option to route to new mix channel. So it both creates a mix channel and routes it. So now, now I've got the kick. And that makes wiring up something like a Kong a thousand times faster. All right, so there you had it. Those are all of the wonderful, those are the main wonderful new workflow tips in Reason 10.2. Um, just you have to consciously make a choice to be putting them into play. Um, and actually, let's just do another quick zoom in on this to show you how this snap to grid works. Um, and I also want to take you to like and subscribe real quick before you go any further because I'm going to have a lot more tips on Reason 10.2. Um, so now we've gone to eighth notes. And then let's go down to 16th notes. And let's, you see, the grid, as the grid gets smaller, it all. Control shift all. So there you have it. It's uh it's really nice to have all these new features. I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to like and subscribe and have a great one.